guys, welcome to another day with Jesus. The word of God is like a fresh spring that can direct your day and your life. Each day comes with new mercies and a new word. So here's a new word for you today. Greetings in Jesus precious name. Welcome to another day with Jesus. Uh we enjoy bringing this podcast for you. We enjoy talking to you about God. We enjoy revealing Jesus to you in a fresh light. We enjoy bringing the presence of the Holy Spirit to you on a daily basis through these audio devotionals. If you are blessed, if you have a prayer need, do reach out to us. My email ID is info at pastorpraji.com. Write to me and let me know what is it that spoke to you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask us and we would love to answer those things in the podcast. We would love to minister to you uh, through these audio devotionals. Uh, we've been studying on the topic of praying in the Holy Spirit. How important it is for us to pray and depend on the Holy Spirit when we are praying. We've been discussing that this entire week. Let's go to First Corinthians chapter fourteen, verse fourteen and fifteen. Yesterday, Apostle Paul said this in Romans eight that there are prayers that I cannot. utter with my own language and in with my own understanding and i need the help of the holy spirit and if you understand this well in the first century church something powerful happened on in from acts chapter 2 the holy spirit was poured out on people and they started speaking in tongues they started speaking in a language that was unknown to them uh, even un- understandable for them not even they who were speaking were able to understand what they were speaking uh, and and that became a norm that became a, a way of life so you could pray in tongues and you can speak in tongues when you're speaking in tongues you are speaking on behalf of god and then either you interpret it or you uh speak in you know you ask somebody else who have the gift of interpretation to interpret it but then there was also praying in tongues praying in tongues doesn't need interpretation praying in tongues is for god it is between your spirit and god's spirit and the bible says this in first corinthians 12 and 14 how when you pray in tongues you edify yourself because it's a prayer that you don't understand but god understands and god hears and god he is listening to your prayer and god is helping you in your moment of weakness and god is edifying and strengthening you so let me read what apostle paul says in first corinthians 14 verse 14 and 15 it says for if i pray in tongues my spirit is praying but i don't understand what i am saying uh well then what should i do i will pray in the spirit and i will also pray in words that i understand i will sing in the spirit and i will also sing in words that i understand so apostle paul is saying hey you know what there are this is the challenge that many people have with praying in tongues is the fact that you don't understand it you don't really it doesn't make sense to you so does it mean that you stop praying in tongues no he he's saying hey you i'm not stopping you from praying in your own language in in praying in your in words that you can understand that is absolutely fine for you to do i do the same i sing and i pray and i speak in knowledgeable understandable words uh, words that i can understand and people around me can understand and words that make sense to my mind i do that but that doesn't mean that it is at the cost of compromising my prayer in the spirit he says i pray in the spirit as well i pray in tongues as well i sing in tongues as well i when 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 apostle paul was saying that i pray in tongues what he was saying is i am praying in the spirit he he, he said it like this says for if i pray in tongues my spirit is praying but i don't understand what i am saying in other words what paul is saying is this is not a 
prayer from my head knowledge. This is not a prayer from my book knowledge. This is not a prayer from my experience or based on my greatest need or desire at this particular point of time. This is a prayer from the spirit. This is a prayer from what I am receiving in the spirit. I am releasing it upon you right now. And, 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 and that kind of prayer brings a lot of fruit. That kind of prayer brings a lot of results. That kind of prayer brings uh, more, more glory, more strength, more power into your life than all the intellectual, intelligible, understandable words that you can speak and orate and narrate all throughout your life because when you are praying in the spirit you are praying the heart of God when you are praying in tongues you are praying in the spirit when you are praying in in a language that heaven understands and demons around you don't understand you are praying in God's perspective and, and nobody can sow seeds or bring negativity against those prayers that you pray when you are led by the spirit when you're filled in the spirit out of the overflow of god's spirit in your life when you pray nobody can steal that prayer from you nobody can take away the answer to your prayer if you are saying pastor i don't have this gift of speaking in tongues it's very easy all you need to do is ask the Holy Spirit to fill you on a daily basis. Sooner or later, you will know that the Holy Spirit inside you will begin to overflow. You will begin to just overflow with the presence of the Holy Spirit. And what happens when there is an overflow? It comes out, you know, when your heart is full, the Bible says, out of the abundance of your heart, your mouth speaks. If your heart is full of the Holy Spirit, your mouth will begin to speak on behalf of the Holy Spirit, your mouth will automatically start speaking in tongues and in languages and in, in mysteries and awesome wonders that you have not even uh, thought or imagined about and you would know that as time goes by, it will just blow you out of proportion. It will just blow your mind how God will begin to answer the smallest of prayers. So if you are not filled in the spirit to the extent that you are not praying in tongues, then ask the Holy Spirit today. As soon as you finish listening to me, go back into your prayer closet and begin to just pray and ask the Holy Spirit to just pray through you. Ask him to fill you with this gift of tongues, this ability to pray in the spirit. And I'm telling you, you'll be beautiful when he actually does fill you with the same. God bless you. I'll talk to you tomorrow. May God bless you for receiving that word. This is a listener-supported ministry. To help us take these podcasts to more people, please consider becoming a Revival Partner. You can now send your donations through PastorPriji.com.